on offense. Set the charges or eliminate all opponents. Hey everyone, so last week Bungie revealed Destiny 2 allowing journalists to get hands on with the new sequel on both PlayStation 4 and PC. Unfortunately, no footage of the PC version left the event, meaning that those present could report on it. But aside from a couple of 8K and, well, would you believe it, 12K screenshots, no actual media exists. But what we do know is this, a Core i7 7700K paired with a GTX 1080 Ti will run this game at Ultra HD resolution at 60 frames per second. We also know that PlayStation 4 Pro will get a 4K upgrade. But many are wondering, why couldn't Bungie concentrate on 60 FPS console gameplay instead? It's an interesting question, because while 4K obviously looks prettier, doubling frame rate improves gameplay, especially for a first-person shooter. How so? Well, we've got some PS4 capture here, and we've run it through an advanced motion interpolation filter to give a reasonable approximation of what Destiny 2 will look like running at 60 frames per second. So yeah, I really do recommend watching this video with the 60 frames per second option available. But, put simply, the more visual feedback you get from the game, the more immersive the experience, while the smoother look obviously just looks, well, better. There are other advantages too, principally in terms of input lag. The higher the frame rate, the faster the controller response. Typically, a 60 frames per second V-synced console shooter has end-to-end -end latency in the 50 to 66 millisecond range, and that can double on a 30 frames per second title. Basically, running at a higher frame rate not only looks better, crucially, it feels better. So why not concentrate on this for PS4 Pro? Well, a recent Bungie chat with IGN spills the beans. The firm's Luke Smith said this, The console, the PS4 Pro, is super powerful, but it couldn't run our game at 60. Our game's this rich physics simulation where collision of players, networking, etc. and the like, it wouldn't run. There's not enough horsepower there. And Bungie's Mark Noseworthy went into a little more depth. But there's tons of GPU power in the PS4 Pro. That's why we're doing 4K, right? It's on the CPU side, Destiny's simulation, like we have more AI, more monsters in an environment with physically simulated vehicles and characters and projectiles. And then you add like five, six, seven other players in a public event. This is incredibly intensive for hardware. The explanation hasn't gone down particularly well with fans, but the basic numbers in the PS4 Pro spec back up the arguments here. The GPU gets a 2.3x uplift in terms of its raw compute power, but the CPU is only boosted by 31%. Those hoping for a potential 60 frames per second game with Project Scorpio are also likely to be disappointed for the same reason. Again, the CPU only gets the same 31% boost. Meanwhile, the GPU offers a huge 4.6x boost over the standard Xbox One. In short, the most basic technological building blocks of the new consoles are essentially geared towards higher resolutions and more stable frame rates, but not a doubling of throughput. Now, it is true that there are many 60 frames per second shooters out there for the current generation consoles. And when you look at something like Battlefield 1, there's a strong argument that DICE is targeting 60 frames per second and doing a lot of what Bungie is attempting to achieve with Destiny 2. There's anything up to, well, 64 players and huge physics workloads. But it comes at a cost. We're still not at anything like a locked 60 frames per second. And more to the point, the game was actually built from the ground up to support higher frame rates, whereas Bungie's core design is based around a 30 hertz engine. And getting these engines to run at twice the frame rate is typically as much about CPU horsepower as it is about the GPU. Certainly the evidence for PS4 Pro being able to brute force its way to 60 frames per second isn't really borne out by the performance modes we've seen so far. So Rise of the Tomb Raider, lock 30 FPS on base PS4 and 40 to 60 FPS on Pro. Infamous, again, we're closer to 60 FPS, but there's no lock. In Horizon Zero Dawn, the performance mode aims to provide a solid 30 FPS experience to refine frame rates over the already impressive 4K output. 60 frames per second? 
Guerrilla Games couldn't deliver it, so it went for improved consistency at half refresh instead. In fact, we only know of one pro title that runs at 30fps on base hardware and a locked 1080p60 on pro. That would be The Surge by Deck 13. It's a really cool game worth checking out if you do indeed own the PlayStation 4 Pro. And there are some other potential issues too. I've talked about how improved visual feedback plus lower latency offers up a better gameplay experience. Now, by offering Pro users 60 FPS action, while base PS4 gamers are locked to 30 in the same gameplay instance, well, it introduces a fundamental mismatch in the PvP area of the game, the Crucible. It's not really fair. And to a certain extent, we've already seen this unfair advantage roll out in another major multiplayer game. So a while back, we measured base PS4 and pro performance in Battlefield 1 in a taxing 64-player arena battle. There's an often dramatic improvement in pro frame rates, especially evident when there's a lot of action on screen. So basically, when you really need the highest possible frame rate, when there's tons going on, response will be dulled on the standard PS4, while pro owners get the advantage of that lower input lag and improved visual feedback. As far as I'm aware, there are no limitations to stop developers doing this on PlayStation 4 Pro, and certainly for Project Scorpio, this was confirmed by Microsoft's Mike Yabara, confirming that developers can use the resources of more capable hardware as they see fit. However, his colleague Shannon Loftus said this, as a developer, I would bet no one chooses different frame rates for multiplayer games ever. So there we go. I mean, there's no conspiracy here, no attempt to undermine the Pro's capabilities. It's simply that pretty much from the get-go, PS4 Pro has always been about running existing PlayStation 4 engines at higher resolutions, not higher frame rates. Bungie is promising 4K for the Pro here, but from my perspective, I'm going to be interested to see what kind of flavor of Ultra HD output we get. Native 4K rendering, perhaps it's a possibility, but checkerboarding or upscaling from something like 1800p, probably more likely, and this will still definitely represent a clear upgrade over the base PlayStation 4 experience. For Project Scorpio though, the entire basis on which the hardware design is founded is all about getting that native 4K look from titles that run at either 900p or 1080p on base Xbox One. The original Destiny hit Full HD on the Microsoft console. So yeah, bearing in mind the Xbox team's claims for the hardware, I really want to see the Scorpio version fully deliver there. But for the full fat 60 frames per second experience, let's face facts here, it's all about the PC version. Right then, well, so hopefully this video has proved useful. Do like and subscribe if you'd like to support our work and remember to follow us on Twitter. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.